Thank you for your courtesy. Um, pagka maranaw ko, ganun lang. Uh, medyo sa lola. Before I proceed, meron talagang prepared speech ang Presidente Baskisaan. Pero hindi ko ito trabaho. Sabihin ko sa inyo, prongka-prongka. At uh, as important as uh, reconfiguring the territory, the local, uh, it is uh, not good just to deliver a two-page speech. Sabi ko kay uh, sa kanila, i-dovetail ko yung kay Kage pati kay sa dumadaang mga speeches. But uh, before that, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of uh, excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana, Presidential Advisor on Peace Process Jesus Duresa, Presidential Spokesman Harry Roque, and other members of the Cabinet. Baka hindi nyo na Bagong kilala natin si Secretary Roque, uh, formerly a congressman. He's now the, the Bangsamoro Transition Commission Chair, Gadzali Jafar, Armed Regional Governor Mujib Hataman, MILF Chairman Alaji Murad Ibrahim, MNLF Central Committee Chairman Yusuf Jarek Jikeri, fellow workers in government, mga kapatid kong mga Moro at ang mga Pilipino. I'd like to address myself to the nation this time. I plead to all Filipinos listening now to understand the problem and maybe, uh, you know, just uh, ponder on it and uh, sleep on it tonight and maybe you'd be enlightened because of uh, what we are now trying to solve is one of the hardest in my administration. Maybe the hardest of them all. But as I have promised, as a centerpiece of my election was really the federal setup of government. And one we are talking about now would limit it to the issues uh, as far as I'm concerned, actually what is at stake here is the preservation of the Filipino Republic and to correct historical injustice, was and still is. But let me discuss with you the second issue. Historical injustice. When was it? Well, many, many centuries ago. Before the coming of the imperialists, as we are now and had been before, we are brothers and sisters of the Malay race. As a matter of fact, you study maybe a little bit about the history of the migration, we belong to the Sri Visayas Empire of the Malay race. But about so many centuries ago, 500, I would say, until now, you reckon the years, the Spaniards came and colonized us for 400 years. Then the Americans came and stayed there for 50 years. We were a subjugated people. But I do not have an issue with God Allah. God Allah is perfect. He charts the destiny of men and nation. But somehow we humans must contribute our sweat towards the realization of God Allah wants us to do. Yan ang 
nandito ngayon. The historical injustice began when we were slaves of other nations. Hindi ito ngayon lang. And over the years, naturally, I said, with the coming of uh, religion, I have nothing, I, I said. Uh, I do not have an issue with any particular religion. It's up to us human beings to make the most out of it. Now, itong problema ng ating bayan, inabot ito over the periods of years. And oppression, and violence, and unnecessary killing, sometimes for no reason at all. It has bugged this nation for so long a time. Mindanao was taken over first by the Spaniards, then the Americans came and introduced the system of governance in the island of Mindanao. Used to be ruled by one department of Mindanao. And in the process, invited other tribes to come here and enjoy the fertile land. No problem with that, actually. Mindanao at that time was so big that you cannot, you cannot even measure it by, by any yard stick or a device of measurement. Malaki. And I suppose that there was really no animosity because of our color and our culture and even in the dialect. But somehow, the imperialism created a monster by giving away the lands and adapting, I said, yung mga homestead, yung mga kadastra land. And sadly, to the exclusion of many. And most of them who were left behind or left out were really the Lumads here and most of the Moro people. And over time, it created, he said, a monster that the fight for a piece of real estate here and there created wars amongst us and killing. Iyong Moro, at nakikinig kayong mga kababayan ko, na iwan. Kinuha yung mga ancestral land. They were the first. Actually, if you are not a Moro, if you are a Christian, then you cannot be a native of Mindanao. Well, nauna ang Islam by almost, well, I used to read when I was a congressman, John sa Malaysia, uh, yung mga library nila. I would, some say 100, I'd put it about something like 80. May simple mathematics or arithmetic could say to me. So nauna dito ang Islam. About that time, talagang Muslim na ang Mindanao. But with the coming of imperialism, I said, Pumasok dito at uh, marami ng religion. Fine. It's all about God. It's all about Allah. Nothing, nothing uh, strange there. But the fight for the territory began. And the dream of the Moro people was just to retake what they were or they had at that time. Violence after violence after violence. In 1972, kumukuha kami ng bar. Just Dorisa was ahead. Uh, ako na iwan ako sa klase kasi hindi man ako valediktorya ng kagaya niya. So, well, I used to be here. Kasama ko si Jun Matalam noon. I was still a young boy. I was roaming around Cotabato. Sila Jimbo Sindao. I was enjoying the place. And maybe because I felt safe. So, ganun ho ang nangyari. Now, if we do not solve this problem, 
the fundamental issue of historical injustice. Hindi ito matatapos. Hindi talaga ito matatapos. I've been saying that before, even in any crowd, that we have to have a solution. If I were to have a choice, then it should be my time, kung pwede lang, and we can work out a way out of this quagmire. It cannot go on. Your children cannot kill my children. Ang pamilya ko mismo, kate, alam ninyo yan. I have a branch of, of my family, Poro Moro Islam. Meron rin akong branch sa pamilya ko na Kristiyanos. Saan ninyo ako ilagay? Yan ang problema, kaya interesado ako ng ariglo. Kung maaari lang sana, let's talk about peace, peace and peace. As we build and build and build our country. Nothing wrong with that. It's a matter of talking. Now, there are so many drops coming from Noor, coming from uh, Kagis, Murad, and everybody else, and the scholars. Uh, and also, uh, UP is coming up with a AA position paper. Ang akin, it must be inclusive. Lahat. Walang maiwan dito sa peace talks na ito. The MIMF, the MNLF, lahat na lumad, kailangan kasali. But I will now state my condition. I will work very hard for it. I will ask Congress to a special session just to hear you talk about this in Congress. Sabi ko, ito sagrado to, importante to, at mahalaga to because it would involve eventually if the people wills it in new structure for the entire country. Kung de, then let us work out a way. Uh, basta maibigay natin sa ating mga kapatid, lalo na sa Moro, ang arrangement na acceptable sa kanila. Alam ko, realist kayo. At wala namang umaangkin dito sa mundong ito. We are all passing temporarily in this planet. In the end, it's always towards what is heaven for the Christians and for the Muslims. We fight there, we kill each other. Then if we are in heaven, what are we supposed to do? It's ever so temporary, mind you. So let us work on the historical issues. Land, the social injustices that were committed since then. Well, apparently, the Christian governments has had an edge all along because they were in power holding the national structure. And all the time, medyo pasensya, pasensya, pasensya. I said, but this cannot go on. Even if you say that you'll have an interregroom of how many years, it will not suffice. For then, you'll be passing the problem to the next and to next generation. And so what do you think? What would be the sentiment of my grandson towards his grand sister. Ipasa mo lang eh. Ngayon nandito na ako, I made it a centerpiece. Of course, not all the time. But I, in, in all, I endeavored really to mention it. Most, half of the time, I was talking about itong mga historical injustice. 
It's a matter of self-preservation. For whom? You? For me? For them? For all of us. That is a matter of survival. What will we get if we go into a war again? With the coming of the ISIS, the taking of the name of Allah in vain, killing people, destruction, violence, along is what is now. Look what happened to the Middle East. They say that, the, uh, well, the, uh, there's a lot of theories about who's responsible. But, you know, we cannot go back in time. We must avoid the pitfalls of violence. Look at what Iraq, Libya, Syria, once the thriving center of the Muslim faith. Take now. Where is ISIS now? It's on the edge. And I've been telling you, if they lose the land base, they will scatter. And uh, why, why would we allow barbarians to come here and destroy our way of life? We are not even a mix of Arabs. We are Malay. Now, if you want to change the Filipino Philippines because of King Philip, this is fine with me. It's a matter of renaming everyone in the Constitution. Because Magellan came here and he said, I discover for the king of Spain, Philip, and I will name this island the Philippines. Maswerte ka. Makita ka na lupa tapos iyo na. Name Philippines. But that is just you know, a name of it. We can always do away with it in, in due time. I'm sure our children would somehow, Filipino and Christians would correct this kind of you know, Philippines. It's a box of imperialism. That's why I don't have you ever me call Malacanian Palace. I see my office. I, 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 I don't. Really sitting there and to remember that my predecessors were all, well, almost half of it were aliens and the conquistadores. Hindi ako naliliga he. Baka kahala niyo kayo lang ang masakit. I do not see Malacanian Palace. I just see me at my office, in my office. Hindi ako nagtutang. Palas, hindi na panahon ito nang. So that is so, correction of the social injustice or the outright injustice, and then crafting uh, something which would preserve the lives of Filipinos. But I will only work with one thing in mind. There must be one nation for all and one republic for Lord, a republic of the Philippines for all of us, Moro and Christians alike. Yan ang hindi ko maibigay. Now I am doing everything to avoid a breakage or fissure somehow in Mindanao. I'm going to walk the hundreds of miles, not the mile, as the first step. But uh, there has to be a condition that is uh, for all. The Republic of the Philippines must be one. And the preservation of all Filipinos, Christian, Muslims, and all, must be there to unite us then we will be happy in the goodness of uh, the fullness of God's time. I am sure it is just a simple equation of correcting an injustice, 
redistributing whatever is just compensation and all. But these are all legislations. It can come later. But the basics must be there. And there must be autonomy. And you must be allowed to enjoy all your natural resources. Pero naman, maghingi ako ng konti. Paano ko patakbuhin ng wala kanyan? Wala ba na kung pera kung hindi mag sa taxpayer? Eh, konti lang. Eh, you can enjoy uh, 60, 40, or 90, 10, or whatever. But we must, uh, I said, have only one. I cannot bargain it away. I cannot said give to all the communists, and I'm telling it to you all now, that I cannot give what I do not own. In you lahat it's for the Filipino people. You decide, not me. Pero ako, I'm just stating na to the other tribes in Luzon, Visaya, kawalo mga Visaya, sabta na ninyo. Wala noong tamang ilog kay giimbitar ta. Uh, pumunta kayo ng Mindanao because it's fertile and everything. And I said, ang Mindanao ni Ato Dako, malaki ang Mindanao. It was a vast expanse of land. But Mindanao na, no? we're becoming of the, we are now on the fourth industrial revolution. Plenty of people. Talagang lumiit ng lumiit. Eh kung malaki na sana ito, di walang, but you know, you have to have land to develop, to eat, to earn. Manufacturing in the agricultural sector is lagging. Why? Because it cannot propel its into prosperity for so long as there is violence in the countryside. Especially Ang nakita kong walang kwenta to the NPAs. Be careful with that. Kasi pag niyaya ninyo, even the Arab money, they would still ask, baski sino ang nandyan. And that is extortion. It thrives on extortion. It is not revolutionary tax. Ilang beses kinakita dito, sinusunog yung mga sasakyan. You think it's done by the, the model here? Of course not. I should know it. Sila nagsusunog ng mga ano dito. And even in your territories. It behooves upon the moro, all of you and us, to maintain that kind of peace that we desire. Because pagdating ng panahon, when we are given the empowerment now to run our lives, run your own economy, create your own gross domestic product locally. Magkakaproblema kayo niyan eh. And even the terrorists. Then you'll just have to go to war again. We, we, we tried another war and we have to deal with another war. But we were willing to talk peace. But for the communists, let me be very clear. One republic, no coalition. Government must be the sole authority, and we exercise it. After all, we'll have the election. You'll have the elected leaders. Whether you like it or not, you must be represented in Congress. Walang problema yan. So ang proposal ko ganito, I will ask Congress, I said, one day, one session, Noor, Kari, and all should be there to present their platform. And then we will work out if, it can, if it's not uh, in consonance with each other, then we work out. But at least Congress and the Filipino people should be given a day to hear you out on what we intend to do. Me, I support you. That is my promise. Do not ever, ever question me. Delay, of course, it entails delay. So many come, marami man dito galing. Nabili siri. 
Jesus Dore, say, sir, you've been congressman. Ala, ayan si Toto. Alaman ninyo. It takes forever to move. Somebody has to push it. Because there are, alam mo na, thousands of concerns. But uh, I will impress upon them that you have to devote even one day or two days. Hear them out. Hear us from Mindanao. Ako tagaroon. Ako, sabi ko, kasali ako dito sa gulo pag hindi ito nariglo. So, and I would be blamed by you and by ni Mene. Eh, sabi nitong gago na to. Sabi niya, eh, you'll work it out. And that is why I will work it out. Tapos, ipakita ko sa inyo, talagang hindi work out exercise. Talagang I will work on it. And uh, at least give you the idea of how the effort goes along. What we need is to be heard. I said, one, just two simple uh, in the equation. That is correct in justice, committed against the Moro people, and all of the Lumajir. Second is to preserve the Republic. That is all there is to it. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte.